This video has been sponsored by myself. Windows 10 and 11 retail keys are still $12.50 only. And I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to me in the last couple of weeks. It helped me out a lot. So if you like the content and you are still not subscribed, please consider to do so. Hello and welcome to the last part, part five, lots and final testing. So we are getting there. We are only about to install one mod and then we need to do some post checks. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you in game how to um, to, to spawn your weapons um, and also how the tactical reload stuff works and uh, to do some other post checks. But we're almost getting there. So what we need to do now is the uh, Installing the lots. So the lots you can find if you're going to this page to files and here you will find the lot pack I did generate for all the mods in this tutorial. So you can download this lot pack and then um, go to your mod organizer and install it. So let's do that right now. So go back to here to your downloaded stuff, the lot pack. Uh, click manual, press OK. And um, yeah, once this is being busy, let me explain a little bit about uh, this. The lots should look fine. So that means the distant landscape and objects should look fine for you. Okay, let's activate this mod. Um, there's one thing you should take in consideration for the landscape overalls. If you did not pick a forest and grasslands, it could be that your forest areas or your nature areas look weird. Because if you're going there and you see the distant landscape, uh, being probably forced in grasslands because that's, those are my uh, lot packs. And if you're getting closer, you see all of a sudden your other packs, uh, your other uh, uh, landscape options or no overhaul if you picked option one to not install any mods. So if you have that, if you've done that, that means you need to run the procedure yourself to generate lot files. And I did include the link here. Um, I have to say the process is a little bit more painful than on Skyrim because First of all, you need all these, uh, yeah, all these tools, and you need to uh, eventually do a lot of stuff. <laughs> I could say that because, uh, yeah, you need to repack all those stuff, and for that, you need the the, the Bethesda those those mod tools from them. So you need to uh, create a Bethesda account, etc., download all that stuff. So that's why, yeah, you can do that here. This uh, is a great guide, by the way, from Luxor, the guy who created the Fallout for uh, alt, uh, the 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 HD texture overall. So sure, feel free to do that if your textures don't look as what you expected. But else, for everyone else, just download my lot suite and install them. So this link just goes to my file section. So that's it for now from the mods. Um, so it's time to do some post checks. First thing is we want to make sure that Steam does not perform any updates anymore on Fallout 4. Why? Because if uh, Bethesda decides to do a minor update for some reason, whatever that, that may be for Fallout 4. The uh, most likely Skyrim script extender will not work anymore and the plugins. And that means you need to manually update them again. And maybe also some other mods don't really like the fact that um, yeah, Fallout 4 gets any updates. So you want to go to the game in Steam. You want to right click on it, select properties, then go to updates. And for this drop down menu, always keep this game updated. Click here and only update this game when I launch it. I can hear you thinking, won't that mean that every time I launch my game, it will still update? Nope, because Steam want to launch your uh, Fallout 4 with the vanilla launcher. So the Fallout 4.x and the Fallout launcher. We're not doing that. We're running Fallout with Fallout 4 script extender. So for that, it doesn't count as the main game. And for that, will never be updated anymore. So make sure you do that because it's pretty important. And then let's do the final checks here. Um, so let's see. Yeah, this is a good thing. The best practice is to reboot your PC one more time because sometimes MCM doesn't really like some, uh, a lot of, a ton of mods um, during a very long modding process and you didn't reboot your PC. So I would say 
reboot your PC in a bit and then uh, start Steam and Mother Organizer 2 again and we're going to launch in game. Um, yeah, what will happen now is if we're going to start the game, the MCM will give you a lot of weapon menu mods and it will ask you what you want to do with them, but I will show you that in game. Uh, so if we're not done already, we run the EB patch, we are ready to do that, and we apply to the uh, hotkeys through the bucket weight anywhere and the immersive hot. Um, so yeah, that's that should work, but we I would say we're going to test that in game. And then testing FPS and in-game functionality. So run around to check FPS performance. Yeah, that's something you should do as well, um, but I'm going to show you that. Some good console commands to what I usually work with with testing is the same good old god mode is the T detect. So AI detection will be disabled uh, from NPCs and monsters and team M one to have all map markers activated. But I will again, I will show you that. The thing is, if you have poor FPS, you might want to switch back to high settings in Beth Ini. And then that would mean that's pretty much it. But before we're going to do that, we need to go jump in game and first reboot your PC and then I'll see you guys in a little bit once you've done that. All right, so welcome in game. Let's continue from our test, um, our test game actually, to see what's going to happen now. We'll probably get a lot of spam from MCM for these weapons. But yeah, it's, um, I'm pretty curious what you guys think of this tutorial once we're finished. It's a lot faster, right, than the Skyrim tutorial. That took way longer and had way more mods. So here it starts, the Glock X normal startup options. Just add it into my inventory, it's fine. Um, but don't do this for your live game, of course. It's better to just find them, unless you really want to use it in game, into your real game, the ones you're really playing. So, um, yeah, I would say add this to the level list for traders only. The legendary response, sure. Yeah, the game lab, sure. The FAMAS cheat, also added. Same one for the M1A. Because this is just a test game, we can um, do that. So, add it to uh, the traders. Yeah, sure, let's give the spawns. It's pretty cool to find these weapons and high uh, level spawns, so that's why uh, we do that. Okay, let's see, are there any more? Yeah, the chem lab. And if that's it, then I will say, Okay, cool. So let's just equip a weapon then. Oh, the FOV looks pretty. Oh, never mind. Okay, um, FOV looks good. So now we have this pistol, an example. This Glock nine, uh, this Glock nineteen X pistol. We have the M1 rifle. And uh, my sound is a little bit. Um, lower because uh yeah else you guys cannot hear it but the sound looks uh, sounds really great the m1 this one is a cool mod but i think um the reload is not that that great it's one of the poorer reloads actually and you have this weird effect in the magazine this is not really cool that uh one of the cooler weapons so to spawn all the other weapons we have what you want to do is and i'll show you uh, a little bit how you can spawn weapons um just by going to the tilde key and then let's see if we want to uh, spawn an example G Scar H. You type in help Scar, just a part of the weapon. And in Skyrim, here you would see all the weapons. If you do this in Fallout, it says I cannot do that. So you want to add the four uh, number if, uh, behind it because else you cannot find any information about this weapon. So help Scar for an example for the Scar H. And as you can see here, we will have two uh, Scar H types, which we can use as a blueprint weapon or just, this is the, the unmodded vanilla Scar H, uh, the unmodded from the workbench. So if you want to have it, we want to type in player that at item and then the code, which is 26000800 space one, it will add one version of it. If you would type two, it would add two Scar H's. So FN Scar H edit, then you can go to your inventory menu and go to um, FN Scar H. And why I want to have this, oh, my field of view is too high, it seems. FOV 90, please. That's probably the reason. Hmm. Oh, it's because of my code, I think. That's why I see this, yeah. That's, that was the thing. Okay. Um, 
yeah that's that's why it's in the lower left corner um all the way like that but anyway what i want to show so this is a scourge if i fire with it it's semi-auto now and as you can see there are still rounds in the magazine so when i press reload it just really like it is but if i empty the weapon which takes a long time when it's not fully automatic as you can see it has a different reload animation so um yeah this is the way how to add weapons so an example if we want the mp9 you can type in help mp9 or mp9 what was the weapon again so weapon yeah player it's a little bit hard to see because of the white background but player that at item two five zero 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 ff21 here it is so this is the way you can add weapons as you can see the ammunition is uh pretty uh, sh uh, short in ammo so in order to add ammo with a cheat way you can do the following you can check first what kind of weapon this uh, ammo this weapon is using it's a 10 millimeter round so in order to add 10 millimeter rounds in a cheaty way is by pressing the console key help 10 millimeter four and it will show you here now you have multiple options by the way usually that's a little bit confusing so i usually try the first option player that at item 001 f two seven six one as you can see it will add one round so if you type in ten thousand example it will add ten thousand rounds and also here to show you a little bit the tactical reload patch you can um yeah fire the weapon there are still rounds in the magazine so it has this one but if i empty it it will close the bolt you hear that so that's what's happening so what's cool about weapons but you probably know that is you can add multiple things on it so if you go to a weapons bench workbench you can add multiple things to this so here you have all these options and that's really 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 cool i would say i will go now to my live game because now we're actually able to go to my live game um so yeah why not let's just do that let's quit to the main menu by just entering confirm to load the game with t you can select character um, and i need to go to my pred caliber not this one i have multiple pred calibers it seems select character this one then i think yeah it's this one and here here i have a bunch of weapons to show you how they look with uh, all mods but you need to the, the in-game gun perks for that uh, and also the materials of course but now you know how to add um how to add materials how to add weapons to uh, for your cheat game i would say so you can use the weapons there but yeah it looks pretty pretty cool um the weapons look pretty pretty cool they function very well as you can see here i have an mp7 oh this is a bug with the armor which happens um let's see what's going on yeah something did i had the same with a different mod here um but, 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 let's just equip some uh, weapons uh, some armor okay so let's see i am probably over encumbered or not what is my weight here yeah i'm over encumbered let's drop some weapons or some other heavy stuff how much is this waving let's drop this one so as you can see these uh, weapons are now fully modded i did mod them in my uh, real game so and also a cool uh, command the console command is set game hour an example if i want to set it to 12 it's 12 a.m uh, sorry 12 p.m and it's now fully in the afternoon so that's a pretty nice way to uh, to mess around with the time and uh, and weather effects so an example if i want to change the weather to have clear we can do that as well Ta -da, and here we are also here you can see um the piper uh the outfit as you can see it looks very good and what happened to me the first time when i um i choose the wrong body type with the wrong skin texture you will see all kind of uh yeah of, 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 of black markings on her body that means that the you use the incorrect skin type for her uh for her body type for cbe body but anyway here as you can see here i have an mp5 fully modded pretty cool mod 
with a lot of uh, extra stuff in it. And what do I have more? I have this uh, fully automatic Glock 19. Oh, <laughs> it was empty. So you can mod it to fully automatic and add extra accessories and that kind of stuff. The Scar H, we have, we have the G3, which is a really cool weapon. And here, as you can see, this is when the weapon is empty. And this is when you have some rounds left in the chamber. So that's pretty much it. Um, let's see, is there anything else we had to test? I'm thinking of that. Um, yeah, there are some console commands to test out performance in outer areas. And that is the first one is uh, TGM to have God mode enabled. The other one is T detect so you cannot be seen by NPCs or being attacked. So an example, if I attack these guys, nobody will attack me. And you can mess around a little bit, so that's pretty funny. Oh, by the way, if you have God mode, you have unlimited ammo. And the other one is TMM1. Um, yeah, I can do that by now. I'm not going to quick save. So, and once you do that, you will have all the map markers, which you can have fast travel to. So, and the other one is TCL. That means you can fly like no clip stuff. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for testing in game. So I would say, let's go back one more time to the tutorial. All right, so that was the last step of this tutorial. I want to point out, please make sure in game that you check various areas around cities and forests to see how your FPS is holding up. And if it is not your desired 60 or 50 FPS, maybe even, you want to go back to Beth Ini here and go for the high settings instead of ultra settings and see if that makes that fixes your issue. But for the rest, that's it. Um, I want to thank everyone who has uh, yeah, currently supported me uh, during all of my YouTube adventure. If you like the tutorial, then please make sure to let's go up, endorse the tutorial. That would help me out a lot. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have some great screenshots, please feel free to join our Discord channel. An example, we I will make sure to create a category here, Fallout 4, so you can show your Fallout 4 screenshots because I'm really curious what you guys are able to create. An example, these are some Skyrim Special Edition screenshots based on, uh, yeah, and I don't think these are based on my guide, but I really love forward, I look forward to sh uh, seeing your screenshots, what you have created with all the mods. And if you have any gameplay mods or other stuff you would like to add, feel free to add it on top of Mod Organizer. So just add them later in the load order. And I would not recommend using the sort function because I think what we have right now is pretty good already. Uh, but since there are not that many ESMs and ESPs, I think it's safe if you really are getting into issues with the um, with, with the gameplay and other mods with the plugin section if you're getting crashed to desktops, feel free to use it. But if you're going to do it with this setup we have now, play the entire game, leave it as it is, it should be fine. So this is the end. We've come a long way, as I said here, but you can be proud of yourself because you now can play Fallout 4 with wonderful 2022 graphics. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you at one of my next videos.